What's up Facebook? What's up YouTube? It's another Mom to Mom Monday. And I'm gonna tell you something. I'm really I'm really feeling this. I'm really feeling this. I love sharing with people where they can be able to grow if they're struggling with some of the same things I've struggled with. And being able to share with you how God brought me out of different places where I shouldn't have been. And with this word today, this is what I believe that can help take your ministry to the next level in 2022. Your mom ministry is ask for help. Um, I'm not saying that you should negate doing the work. But what I am saying is that don't feel like you're so anointed where you can't ask people to help contribute to whatever it is that you are struggling with. What I mean is asking God to bring somebody into your life to help you in the area where you're weak in. I felt like that I was so anointed that I couldn't ask nobody to help me. I couldn't tell nobody what I was struggling with. I couldn't be transparent and tell anybody about my demons because I was leading so many people to the kingdom of God. People from Africa, people from Canada, all of these different people in my city and all these thousands of views online. And I'm like, I can't tell anybody that I'm struggling. I can't tell anybody that I have issues. I can't tell anybody that I have problems. I can't tell anybody that pray for me. That's the way I thought. I'm like, I'm Benil, I'm anointed. I should have it together. I should keep my stuff privately. And I was struggling privately. And I had to get on my knees and I had to ask God to help. And God connected me with a brother that helped me release some demons and some strongholds that I was struggling with since I was like nine or 10 years old. I dealt with identity issues on who I am. And I had somebody could, that that I uh, connected with and it helped me become more confident in who God has created me to be. And God, there was a spiritual and divine connection between me and that brother because I got out of the mindset of trying to keep everything privately. Now, of course, you don't want to get on Facebook and blast your stuff on social media, but you should go to God and ask God for their help to help align you with that person that you can go and speak with and be transparent with, and they can help bring you out of that pit. So this is what I want you to do for 2022, and this what I believe can help you in 2022 is ask for help. If that person can't help you, don't think that you should stop. Well, I asked for help for two or three people. Continue to be spirit-led, and God will connect you with that person that can help pull you out of that pit, man. Just like he did for me. So I'm excited for your new journey. I'm excited to see how your ministry is going to blow up. I'm excited that you are taking advantage and applying these tips. Man, I'm happy for the elevation that God is going to do for you and yours in 2022. God bless you.